are unsure if they can make it into the professional rank, but also a lot of players are unsure if they are good enough to make it into the collegiate rank. The great thing about college tennis is there are many different levels going from the NCAA Division 1, 2 and 3 to the NAIA and to the NJCAA, which is the National Junior College. They all have a huge range of levels and all offer scholarships in different ways. For example, Ivy League schools are unable to offer athletic scholarships, but they can certainly offer financial aid for players that qualify. Uh, Division I has a lot stricter rules than, say, the NAIA about whether you play professional, uh, so you may not be eligible, but then you can look at playing NAIA, which is also a very high level of tennis. So there are many different options, and the best thing for you to know is go out there, talk to some college coaches, send some emails. I always encourage my players, send out some emails to some colleges that you're interested in and get some feedback, get an idea of what they're saying to you. Are you going to be good enough to make that team? And if not, they may be able to advise you on what they think your level would be. Um, another option is always using a college recruiting company. They're going to help place you into the right level of college tennis, but they do come up a price. So it's always important to talk to a lot of people and, and see how you compare. But talk to coaches, email coaches, use the college recruiting process if you need. But it's very important to get feedback and be honest with yourself. I would love to have played at Stanford, but I knew very early on I wasn't going to be good enough to make that. So I have to look at other options. I was good enough to play Division One, but where in that do you fall? Because there's many hundreds of schools just in Division One alone. And the top 75 are usually ranked with the top 45 to 50 making it to the NCAA tournament, depending on the rankings that year and who wins their conference. So there's a whole range of levels, going right the way up from, say, Georgia, where John Isner, or Illinois, where Kevin Anderson played, all the way down to the lower range schools. But whatever your level of tennis, there's definitely a school out there that will suit you. Good luck with your college recruitment.